So we're basically done, guys. All we got to do is upload all the PDFs to show what you've done. So the first one is to print the first invoice you created. So we're going to go to the sales, look at our customer. The easiest way is just to go to our customers, right? And we should find the first customer that that we created. Uh, so that was, in my case, Beyonce. So let's go ahead and look for Beyonce. And once I go to the transaction list for Beyonce, I'll see the invoice and then the payment. So let's go to the invoice and print that. It should be um, a paid invoice if you did this right. Uh, so this is going to be the name ooh, of my invoice. And I should have done the first name and last name, but it's okay if you didn't. So here we go. Let me print this or just save it. Uh, let's just right click save as. Let's just um, go to see whatever your folder that you create. So just create a folder. It could be on your desktop and just going to call this the QuickBooks project. Um, and that's my invoice PDF. Okay, so that's one. I should have added your last name and first name, but it's too late because I already released that. The next one should be my income statement. So I'm going to go to the profit and loss of all of 2018. How do I do that? Well, my reports are in a very special place called Ta -ta -ta John reports. Um, and there's some that are already on top. They may be your favorite. You can actually type it in here, income and loss or profit, profit and loss. And it should just show up or you can find it right there on your, on your top. So one of the things you gotta make sure is you gotta be careful with the dates. This is for last year. Profit would be for all of 2018. So make sure you use the right dates. All right. Uh, and we're gonna run this on an accrual basis. Let's run it. So that should be it. I'm gonna print it. There's no comparison method right here. I should have my income, discounts, service for products, service for income. That's correct. Cost of goods sold, my shipping, expenses for interest expense, and depreciation expense. Something doesn't sound right. Let me go in and check. That is not right. What about my journal entry? Oof. Let me pause the video. So by the way, so you see that I made a mistake and I'm glad that we did it. So let's go to my um, journal entries. I can go here and look at my journal entries. Where are we? Um, first one, one, journal entries. Um, let's look at the history. I did one on, see, this is a mistaken journal entry. So you see that I realized quickly that my interest expense was incorrect. So for those of you that were following me, this should have been done as of 9.30, so I messed up the date. I'm not creating another video, so let me go ahead and um, let me edit this by changing it to September 30th. Ah, September 30th, and then I'm going to save it, okay, and close. So now if I go back to my report, I should have the right one. And see, I notice I caught that mistake. You should be able to catch that mistake. That interest was not correct based on the calculations that I was doing. I remember my interest expense was about $200 a month. So that didn't sound like that was $200 a month. So let's run the report once again for my profit and loss. And now this should be like a regular amount. So you should be anywhere from 1000 to 2000 and some dollars for your interest. You've got to see the rent. All right, depreciation should be um, only for that year. That should be the thirty-two percent of your, the thirty-two percent of your, um, of your second year, and that's correct. 
that's all I should see. So now I can print this and everybody's gonna have a different approach. So this is Dr. Potter's class, profit and loss. I can save it as a PDF and I can come back later. So let's go now to the second one. I don't like that it's going to a different, let me just print it again. I want to decide where it's going to go. So let me print it, save it as a PDF so that I can decide what to call it. So this is going to be my income statement. Now I can close this. The third item is a sales tax liability report. So I can do that by, once again, going back to the report list and go to sales tax liability report. And I'm going to do this as of 2018. So I'm going to do 1, 1, 2018 to 12, 31, 2018. Um, accrual, let's run report. And I should have exactly what I recorded for sales tax. Notice that this was broken into California state, the county, and the district and the, and the respective tax amounts for, um, for each one of those items. Okie dokie. So that's 9570. I can uh, print the report once again. I want to print this and save it as a PDF as a sales tax liability report and close it. Then now I'm going to do the number four transaction list by vendor. So this is a transaction list by vendor. I can go back to my report list. Um, transaction list by vendor. Okay. And I am going to do this for all of 2018. So I say last year. I like to do my last year run report. And that's pretty much what I need. I need the bill and the payment, bill and the payment, bill and the payment, bill and the payment. That's wonderful. Great. Yay. Uh, and then, of course, when we did a, uh, a sell, it was just that. Okay. So then I can print this. I can save this and that's going to be my number four. So that's easy. Number five will be my transaction detail by customer. So we use this for looking at all of our um, customer information if we ever need to. So it's transaction detail by customer, transaction detail report by Transaction detail by customer. Hmm. Transaction list. Hmm. It's gonna be by customer. So it's gonna be the transaction list by customer instead. Let me highlight this as a clarification. I'm still going to name it this, or I should just change it. If you've already done it, it's no problem. Okay, so let me run the report for last year. I should have my three customers, and I should have one that has half of the payment. That's perfect. So let's go ahead and run the report, print it, print it. Now I can do my balance sheet as of 12-31-2018. And that's an easy report because all I got to do is go to my balance sheet right here, my favorites. And I'm going to do it as of last year, right? Let's run the report. Make sure you always run it, right? So I should have, it's possible you'd be in the negatives. Uh, your account's receivable. Should be half of your sales. And I will check for that. Your accumulated depreciation should be matching my spreadsheet uh, and your original cost. And this is important. So this is a big chunk of your grade. Your liabilities, your credit card should be at 5,000. If you have any sales tax liability, it should be here. And then your bank loan should be reflective of 
every in the each one of users uh, uh, student ID so that's going to be customizable for, for each one so everybody has different numbers so look at mine what you got to do is make sure that that matches the numbers on your conversation table and that's okay let's go ahead and print this and that's going to be my balance sheet let me close this uh, and let's go to the general ledger the general ledger for all of 2018 let's go to this and let's do the general what is a general ledger i should have done the general ledger for everything but it's okay let's just go to last year run the report on an accrual basis and that makes sense it's going to bring the balance opening balance as a 1 1 2018 everything else that we did your inventory assets um everything that was created uh so that should pretty much be everything that you transacted um so let me print it print it i think this should probably be on a it's okay if you do it on a portrait mode let me print it save it as general ledger close it um, audit log so this is your audit log so my audit trail your audit log is going to be your audit trail log um i'm gonna filter it not for this month but I'm going to do it for 01-01-2018 to 5-31-2019. Show all the events. All of them, please. And that should be printed. And it's going to take a little while to generate. That's the way it should look. log I can close that um, next thing that I need to do is print the amortization table so remember that amortization table you used I want to make sure you give me a copy of that so you go to your drive um, and find that that spreadsheet you worked on which is great love it love it love it make sure you include it please Make sure it's printed nicely. That is not sprint all over. In fact, let's just go to file, print, and show you how to do this again. Uh, okay, good enough. All right, those are numbers I had before. Um, next, I'm gonna keep it as landscape. I'm going to save it and keep it as number nine. And then that's it. That's how I'm going to be checking all of your documents. And you would be done. So what you got to do is go to Blackboard and upload the nine things under your name. Si vous plaît. Thank you, guys. Enjoy the rest of your weekend.